Warning! This guide is for OBS Studio. It will not warax for Stramlorb's OBS. Please refrain from axing if this warax in slobs in the comments. Sorry, I'm behind. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I... I... <laughs> I'm about to show you the secret to all the effects that you're seeing right now, like the camera shaking, the pixelated filter, the glitch filter, just a ton of really cool visual effects. All of these effects are done entirely within OBS Studio using these things called shaders. So let's talk about shaders, what they are, how to install them, and then go through my personal list of my favorite shaders and where to download them. And by the way, if you already know what shaders are and you've tried them and you're experiencing problems like black screens or crashing for OBS, yeah, you might want to stick around. Hey, you, stop playing Apex and pay attention to me because I want to tell you about this video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different classes to help you learn how to create really great content. They've got a ton of classes covering topics like design and photography, but what I think is really useful is they have a whole section just on film and video, and it's filled with really practical and useful stuff. For example, they have a class called iPhone Filmmaking from Caleb Babcock and Niles Gray. Now, I don't know who these people are, but I can tell you one thing, they're really great people to learn from, but it's a really practical class that shows you how to create really high quality videos just using your phone from different apps to use to different lenses you can buy so you don't have to spend a thousand million dollars to get all this different camera gear that you don't even know how to use. None of the classes have any ads so you can stay focused on improving your skills. So if you want to learn more, click in the link down below and the first 1,000 of you guys will get a free trial of their premium membership and after that it's just $10 a month for an annual subscription. Okay, so shaders. What the hell is a shader? So you can think of a shader as a thing that manipulates the way that an image looks. I know that's not technically correct. You know, computer nerds, get over it, okay? We're normies here, it's close enough. In this case, we're gonna be using shaders to manipulate the way our camera looks, or really any source in OBS. So for example, here's a shader that makes my camera look like a 4chan copy pasta. Now to apply these shaders, you're gonna need a plugin for OBS Studio called OBS Shader Filter. I'll leave a link down below for that but the plugin comes with a ton of different shaders pre-installed for you to try out. Now, some of them work, some of them don't work, some of them are buggy, some of them straight up crash OBS. That's why I'm making this video, but we'll get there. So for now, click in the link down below and download the OBS shader filter plugin. You'll see a zip file. You want to take that zip file and unzip it to wherever you have OBS Studio installed, usually in your C drive under program files. Then open up OBS Studio and right click on your camera and go into filters. Now, when you click on the plus sign, you should see a new option that says user defined shader. Now, if you don't see that option there, then you didn't follow my instructions, Duncan, okay? Or maybe you did and something else went wrong. So I'm not Bill Gates, I can't fix every single problem. Next, click load shader text from file and you should see a dialog box which takes you to all of the pre-installed shaders that come with the plugin. So I'll do a quick example here. So we're gonna click on load shader text from file and then we're just gonna browse and we'll use this uh, frosted glass shader. You can see this shader puts a really interesting pattern on top of our camera. But you'll also notice that underneath, you've got all of these different settings. Now the settings that you see here are gonna be different depending on which shader that you use. Every shader is gonna have a different set of settings here. And just to demonstrate that, we're gonna load up a different shader now. So we're gonna browse, and this time we'll use our emboss shader. So this gives like a papery texture to our camera. And you can see the settings underneath are completely different. Now, one thing to note, as you're looking through the list of shaders, you'll see that some say dot shader and some say dot effect. If you're gonna use a file that says dot effect, make sure that you check the checkbox that says use dot effect file. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Huh, we're only four and a half minutes in. Well, I need this video to be eight minutes long so I can put mid-roll ads in the video, plus it's better for the algorithm. So we're gonna keep going. So we're gonna use the rest of the video to go through five different effects that you can do using shaders and I'll show you guys which shaders to use and how to use them without crashing OBS. By the way, I forgot to mention, we have a free download pack of about a dozen different shaders made by members of the community, AKA Exeldro and Leorin. 
And you can download that by going into the Discord link in the description box down below and going into the design file section and downloading the OBS shader filter pack. So this one has a bunch of cool shaders. You can look through the list. It's got some glitch shaders. It's got some cool chromatic aberration filters. Check it out. It's pretty awesome. Okay, cool. On with the rest of the video. All right, so the first effect is the party pulse effect. And this is one that I use every time I get raided in my stream. So I use Lior on board to activate all the filters that I need. And the main shader that we use for this is the zoom blur shader. This one comes pre-installed with OBS shader filter and it just does this nice pulsing animation with some motion blur. And what I like to do is I like to adjust the speed parameter so that it matches the hype music that I have playing in the background. Now you might notice that the zoom blur shader does this weird flashing thing with your camera and I can't seem to get rid of it. So alternatively, what you could do is instead of using the zoom blur shader, you could also use the pulse.effect file. And that one does a similar type of pulsing effect, but it doesn't have the motion blur. Oh my gosh, that... Is that... RTX off. Um, Nerdo RD? <laughs> The next effect is one that we've called in my stream the RTX off effect and it basically just takes our camera and makes it look like hentai. It makes our camera look super pixelated. So this one is really easy. We just use the pixelation shader. Again, this one comes pre-installed and we just add that in and then under your target width and height, we just make this a really low resolution. So we can set it to something like 32 by 18 and then there you go. Camera is super pixelated. This is one that you can activate using channel points on my stream. So what I did as a nice finishing touch is I added these Final Fantasy type menus that go scroll through the menu and then turn RTX off. And then at the end, it turns RTX back on. I thought it was just a really nice touch to make it fun for my viewers. The next effect is one that I guarantee will crash OBS. <laughs> that was so dumb. Okay, this one, as I was saying, will crash OBS. This one uses the shake effect filter. And this shader just, it, it does what it says. It shakes your camera, just makes your camera go crazy. This is the one that I get asked about the most. It comes pre-installed with the OBS shader filter, but it will crash your OBS. So let me show you what that looks like and how to make it not do that. So I got OBS loaded up here. I'm gonna click load shader text from file. And I'm gonna browse for that shake dot effect file load that up and then i'll click use effect file and everything's gonna stay black and then i'm gonna maybe uh click load reload effect and obs is just completely hung like i it just crashed out of nowhere all right now here's the solution we're gonna go and add the shader again we're gonna do the exact same thing we're gonna load shader from text file we're gonna select that shake.effect file select use effect file and then immediately close OBS to shut it down. Then we're gonna launch OBS again, go back into your filters for your camera, and that shader that you just added should work now. So we're gonna change some of these values. We'll turn on warble, and then we'll set the speed to 100, and maybe the growth pixels, we'll set this to 200. And you can see the camera filter, the shaking effect, totally working now. But that's how you do the shake filter. I've seen people do some crazy stuff like manually changing the position of their camera like 50 times a second. Don't do that, okay? That's crazy. Just use this filter, super simple. As for how I get the lights behind me to flash red and for these lights to shut off automatically, you're gonna need to stay subscribed and figure out how we did that because we're gonna cover that in a separate video. No. I bet if I try a 3080, I'm gonna want one. I'm gonna be disappointed when I can't get one. All right, so any of you guys ever played Yoshi's Island before? This isn't a live stream, so you guys can't answer my question, but there's a level in that game called Touch Fuzzy Get Dizzy. And it's a level where when Yoshi touches these little fuzzy dudes, the camera gets all wavy and stuff and Yoshi's all dizzy and hallucinating. It's a hilarious kids game. Well, Leoran wrote a custom shader that replicates that same wavy effect from Touch Fuzzy Get Dizzy. So that shader, it's available in our custom free shader pack. It's called Touch Fuzzy Get Dizzy, so you know where to find it. But I pretty much just added that to my camera. And then on top of that, I also added a rainbow shader to make my camera flash rainbow colors. And to complete it, I initiate the effect using that sound effect when Yoshi touches the fuzzy in Yoshi's Island. I bet if I try a 3080, I'm gonna want one. I'm gonna be disappointed when I can't get one. What will be the new 
the new channel point reward. <laughs> All right, so the next one is a very special one because I worked on it just for this video. I'm gonna be calling this one the Lucifer effect. So for this one, I basically made it so that my camera looks like I'm streaming from the depths of hell. I mean, I am, but now I'm just gonna make my camera look the part. So for this one, I actually used a bunch of different filters and shaders. The first one was just a simple color correction filter to make my camera look red. And then I added the embers.effect shader, which adds the ember flamey sort of thing on top of my camera. Now as for actually adding the fire animation, that's actually not a looping video. That's actually another shader. So this one is the fires 3effect shader. Again, pre-installed with OBS shader filter. And then to top it all off, we use the touch as you get dizzy shader from the last one to add the little waves so it kind of sells it it kind of gives like the little heat waves effect to my camera but that's pretty much it oh by the way i also added a voice changer effect using the video i made two videos ago but yeah i did the voice changer effect to make my voice really deep to make me really sound like lucifer so there you go that's a summary on shaders i hope you guys enjoyed guys let me know in the comments down below what your favorite shader is and if you know how to make your own shaders please join the discord share your shaders there if you got any cool effects i would love to see them and if you want to see these effects in action come join me on my twitch stream i stream three nights a week on twitch.tv nutty join me there i'll see you guys next week and i'm just gonna leave i don't know how to end videos